There are many misconceptions, many of them is photos, due to the increasing amount of low attention span starting to pop up everywhere in our modern society. We get more people believing into the switch theory with Titanic, which I did a video on, and people like me have to make a video discussing how Titanic was not switched with Olympic. Then I see Lusitania and Mauritania. I'm quite surprised that nobody has made a Lusitania slash Mauritania switch theory. But I'm here to make this video before any of you people have the glorious idea of making a switch theory between Mauritania and Lusitania. Without further ado, let's discuss how to see or spot the differences between Lusitania and Mauritania. First off in our list of how to tell the differences, is the cowl ventilators. Mauritania had a traditional cowl ventilators used by almost every ship at the time, like the ones that are on the Titanic or SS Kiwaten. These types of cowl ventilators didn't need a lot of cleaning. As for Lusitania, Lusitania had a more drum type cowl ventilators. These cowl ventilators aren't really well suited to the harsh Atlantic Ocean, so they needed to be cleaned more often. Now, don't misunderstand what I just said. Lusitania did have cowl ventilators, like her sister ship, the Mauritania, but they aren't as prominent or noticeable like on the Mauritania. The second thing to know when telling the difference between the Lusitania and the Mauritania is the propeller blades. As stated on my Lusitania video, Lusitania only had three blades and Mauritania had a four-bladed propellers. This was because Cunard wanted to test which propeller configuration was more efficient. While we are on the stern, we head to the poop deck or the overhang. Lusitania had a more squarish stern. As for Mauritania, she had a more rounded stern, like the Olympic class. This made the Mauritania the larger ship by 5 feet. The third thing to know when telling the difference between Lusitania and Mauritania is her interiors. Mauritania had a lighter team interior, unlike her sister, the Lusitania which had a darker themed interior. If you really want to experience Lusitania's interiors, the closest thing to that is the SS Kiwaten which almost matches the theme of Lusitania's interior. She even has a winter garden. The fourth and last thing to know when telling the difference is the bridge. Since Mauritania never struck a rogue wave head on, she never had to get her bridge replaced. As for Lusitania, being struck head on by a rogue wave caused the ship's bridge to have a noticeable indent on it. If we're talking about wartime Lusitania, the obvious difference between Lusitania and Mauritania is that Mauritania was a hospital ship and Lusitania was shipwrecked. That's all I've got to say for this video. It's quite a short video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.